you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock? This is Jewel Smith playing Bioshock the Collection on PlayStation 4. I am in the farmer's market. I have already created the Lazarus Vector. I gathered all the ingredients that I needed to do that. I've already rescued the one little sister on this level. I am just exploring a little bit around this area I had not been in. Before I left the level, I have to take the Lazarus Vector back to Arcadia and save the trees. I've already searched all of this. Picked up everything that I could pick up. Oh, there's cigarettes. I'm not going to smoke those. Yeah, see, I've looted everything back here. This was done in other episodes. Okay. So let's get the heck out of here. How do we find our way out? I need to follow the floating arrow, probably, that's telling me to go that way. There are still big daddies wandering around. I could stand to get that Eve hypo up there. Let's go grab it. Since I only have six right now. Not an Eve hypo. Oh, it tricked me. It's just a lantern. Oh, the bastard. Can I get through here? You bastards. It's not an Eve hypo. Alright, well, maybe I'll buy some here. Because we gotta get back to Arcadia. I have no idea what sort of fresh hell will be awaiting me there. I mean, I've been there already in the previous level. But in Bioshock, things tend to respawn. Yes, I have a plasmid that makes me invisible. If I just sit still, I can move back and forth like this. But if I don't move my feet, then I turn invisible. I know we're really close to the exit. It's just around the corner here. That's where we came in. So let's get the heck out of here before this big daddy catches up with us. Oh, here he comes. We have turned away from your life. Is there somebody up here? Even miles in the water. Oh, that was a Houdini splicer. Oh, dang. Those bastards are usually pretty hard to get because they ap appear and disappear. I'm going to research him. Yeah, penalty because the subject is dead. It's better if you can catch them while they're alive. Oop, I'm hearing bullets. So where do we need to go? This way. Got it. We're out of here. Return to Arcadia. Yes, please. Let's go to Arcadia. And save the trees so we can breathe. <laughs> oh, this would be a good time to remind you I am still doing that Bioshocktober giveaway of the book 1000 Steampunk Creations. Very nice art book, picture book. I guess we would have called it a coffee table book back in the day. <laughs> uh, do people still call them that? 
but it's lovely. It's lovely. It's got lots of things in it. Uh, I thought it'd be a good giveaway to do because there are many steampunk and diesel punk uh, elements in this game and the other Bioshock games. Oh no, could not save progress because there's not enough space. Okay. It was trying to save the game for me. We'll have to make sure we do that. So let's save. I thought it was saving, but I, I guess I have to... Now, here's the thing. These, these save files keep getting bigger and bigger. So I'm going to have to delete the older ones, I guess. I'm not going to need the Welcome to Rapture save file. I don't think I need all of these Arcadia save files. Oh, gee, I hope I'm going to be able to save the game by the time I get <laughs> to the end of the game. The save file is going to be so large. I'm not going to be able to have more than one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Overwrite save game. Yes. Anyway, uh, in order to enter the giveaway, just leave a comment on this video or any of my Bioshocktober videos. Deadline is Halloween. I will announce the winner on November 1st. If you want more chances to win, then enter more than once by commenting on more than one video. Don't fight the inevitable. Oh shoot. See, it's a good thing I bought a bunch of Eve and I took like a bunch of... Maybe I should freeze some of these. And hack them. So they can help help me fight other security turrets. Oh, there's already one there. Why not? Looks like that did it. Gracious. Well, that just used up four health kits. Alright, so. Where do we need to go? Alright, we need to get through the tree farm. We're gonna exit the tree farm, turn right, and go through the upper rolling hills. There's probably gonna be somebody waiting for us in there. A uh, Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy? <laughs> Not a Mr. Handy, a big daddy. What am I thinking, Mr. Handy? I got Fallout 4 on the brain. You know what? It's because these little flying robots. I was thinking of them being like Mr. Handy's in Fallout 4. 
No, big daddies is what I'm thinking of. Sorry, trying to do too many things at one time here. Uh, trying to play the game, trying to make a video, trying to think about the game, trying to look at the map, and trying to look at my laptop at the same time. <laughs> Alright, yes, yeah, so what was I saying? Go out, turn right, turn right, through here, through here, and then we gotta get into the research labs, then we gotta go up to the top, and we gotta save the trees. Alright, let's go. Come on, my little army of robots. Oh, let's not use that on this guy. No wonder the armor-piercing bullets weren't working very well. Those are meant for, for bots and security cameras and whatnot. This has already been used once, yes. I can hear the big daddy. Through the rolling hills. What I should do is just hypnotize Big Daddy if I run into him. Because the last time we were in here, he kept wandering in between. It sounds like he's still there. Go away, my sickle uncouth! Alright, go get her, little robot. And Big Daddy. Do my fighting for me. There we go. Excellent. See, even when I'm playing Bioshock, I like to use my <laughs> my Skyrim and Fallout playstyle, which is friendship is magic. That's what I was saying the whole time I played Skyrim. Friendship is magic. That's my play style. I like to have lots of buddies to help me fight things. Oh shit. Is there another one in here? Are they gonna fight each other? Oh my goodness. Okay, I still have this one with me. Alright, you guys. Go for it. Two big daddies fighting each other. I'll just hypnotize the winner. Two big daddy dinner, one big daddy leave. Oh my gosh, there's two of them in here now. Looting this one for the monies. Alright, uh, follow the floating arrow, yes. Oh, what the heck? Did I do that? I think I did. I think I'm the one that put those down. Can I jump over it? Or is it gonna blow me up? What do you guys think? Let's save. I'm gonna try to leap over that. I'm gonna try to leap past it and then when the big daddy walks past it maybe they'll set it off and kill themselves and then I can loot them. There we go, that's what I wanna do. Nope, he didn't set it off. Huh, okay. Follow the floating arrow, follow the floating arrow. Uh -oh. Somebody there? They 
This is my territory. Go get him. Go get him, Big Daddy. <laughs> Oh, now she's just corpse. Okay, well that was Julie Langford. Oh, a Houdini splicer. And an Eve hypo, excellent. All right, this is where I think I need to put the, okay, misting machine, insert vector, yes. Deploy the Lazarus vector. Oh, there it goes. It seems Julie's death didn't provide a clear enough lesson to you. Perhaps this will suffice. Uh -oh. I've got your number. No doubt he'll be sending company. Best to head back to the lab entrance and seal her up. Might be the only way to keep the splicers out. Oh shit. Where am I supposed to go? Oh shit. Didn't mean to do that. Where am I supposed to go? No, I don't want to do that. I want to know where the map is. Seal the door. I gotta okay. Is that shooting at me? What the hell's going on? Right. What are you waiting for, boy? Brian Glass are on their way. Get the lab in and seal. I sealed it. I sealed it. I sent your wee package to the new one. Not much, but every little bit counts. Oh. Did you get that door closed? Good. Yeah, I did. Still on my side? I don't know if he is, but just in case. There we go. So where am I supposed to go here? Go get him, big daddy. Go get him, big daddy. Busted up. Well, it dropped a first aid kit. You're worthless. You're nothing. We can sink you, you know. Whoa. Big Daddy, you gotta move out of the way, dude. Uh-oh. I'm kinda stuck here, hiding behind a Big Daddy. One third complete. I don't know, you tell me, dude. Maybe I should use some grenades. 
put down a few more here. Dang it! Oh, was that the big daddy accidentally hitting me? Or hitting me on purpose? Oh no, he got mad at me. I'm dead. Am I dead yet? No, but I'm almost dead. Holy crap. Oh, there's a first aid kit. Come here now! Stop wasting my time, you horrid monster! Oh shit, there's another one. Where did he come from? This is nuts! come from? Like right behind me. That's where they spawn? The bastards. I am running out of- okay so where's- oh it's like right there. Yes, let's give me some of these please. Good god. Oh wow. This is nuts. Is there another medical thing in here? Because I think one of them got fried. No, I think that one right there is fried, so I'm screwed with that. can I invent? I don't remember how many hack tools I have. Armor piercing rounds, no. Exploding buck, maybe? Do I need exploding buck? Sure. Big Daddy. Restored the forest. That was nuts. I totally didn't expect. Oh, look at all this. I totally didn't expect that to be that hairy. Holy crap. Alright, so what am I supposed to do now? Get to the metro station?
Let's make sure we've searched everything here. Well, I didn't quite die, but I almost died. Just like in the <laughs> frozen freezer level. When I had to fight all those people in the uh, freezers in Fontaine Fisheries. I think what was happening was I was like going in here to hide. And then they were spawning in here right on top of me. Or something. That's what it seemed like what was going on there. friendly. Wow. Welcome to the I'm gonna load up on these. And load up on these as much as I can. I don't know what I'm gonna have to face in the next level. Jeez. Money. Cigarettes. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I need a cigarette after all of that, right? Alright, so where am I going? Out here? Yes, I think I am. trees have been restored. The trees that... Oh, look at the cool chain pictures on there. Chain decoration. The trees that Andrew Ryan tried to destroy have been restored. Alright, but I don't have much time to enjoy them. I gotta get the hell out of here. so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul. You're not CIA, are you? You belong to Atlas, the one roach I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry, I just need time to find the proper poison. Alright, the great chain. I believe in no god. And a gift. No invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. Yeah, he's given us his libertarian philosophy there. Let's move on. I trust nothing. Alright, we're here! The Bathosphere Station finally leaving Arcadia. Rapture Metro. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, even for a game that's so old. I mean, I imagine they remastered the graphics for this collection edition, but... I mean, it's just amazing. Just the basic design of the game. 
the art design and the level design. Truly inspired. All right, here we go. Oh, we have choices. We can go back to Neptune's Bounty or the Medical Pavilion. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> or we can advance to Fort Frolic. Well, I believe Fort Frolic is where we need to go next. Let's take a look. No active goal, it says. Just get to the bathosphere station, huh? All right. Well, let's go to Fort Frolic. Because that's where we have not been. And so that is where we will go. Oh, that was incredible, wasn't it? bit of a fog of war thing going on. I mean, I was just sort of <laughs> running for my life and mashing buttons and hoping that I made it through. <laughs> that was rough. Is it going to tell me that I don't have any room to save? I might have to delete some more saves. Nope. Rapture Metro. Game saved. Fort Frolic. Here we are. And now, I know I've said it before, it's been many years since I played this game. You're almost there. The Sphere to Ryan is up on ahead. The Sphere to Ryan? Ryan's handed the keys to Fort Frolic over to a guy named Sander Cohen. Cohen's an artist, says some. He's a Section 8, says I. I've seen all kinds of cutthroats, freaks, and hard cases in my life. Uh, yeah, so I, as I was saying, uh, I played this many years ago. And so there's a lot I don't remember about it. Okay, there's, there's a lot. I mean, pretty much this whole game up to this point, I don't remember much of it. And I don't even remember much of the ending. I mean, I have a vague notion of what happens. But it's- I don't remember the particulars, but I'll tell you something. What I do remember is this fucking level right here. I remember this level. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Uh, there's a level where there's like a whole bunch of splicers encased in plaster and there's a theater and shit. And I'll tell you what, that was the level I did not forget. That fortune teller. Yeah, right there. This is the creepiest level of them all. Right here. Okay, right here. Epstein the Swami. Sure, why not? I, I'm gonna probably regret this, but okay. Darling, just close your eyes. I hope it's over quickly. Really? That's it? That's what we get? I, I don't get a goodie of any kind, or a... <laughs> okay. Slot machine. Gamble. Okay. Oh. I made $25. Well, how nice. Lucky me. Oh, first aid kit. Yay. All right, there's the Vita chamber. Which is where I will be reborn, reassembled when I die, and I'm sure I will die many times. Okay, we've got a U invent machine and a gene bank. I really would like to find a gatherer's garden though, maybe, and buy some more slots. 
Let's hack this. Oh, no, let's just auto-hack it. And it will help me and hurt others. I'm sure that'll be handy. Let's see if we can make an auto-hack tool, however. I have four auto-hacks remaining. Now let's just invent some items. Okay. Whoa! This has got a lot of goodies in it. Okay, what is this? Trap bolt? For a crossbow? I do not have a crossbow yet. I guess I'm gonna get one? Okay. Electric gel deals electrical damage to targets and send them into shock convulsions. Okay, so I could use this in place of having the Electrobolt Plasmid equipped. Yeah, that might be worth having, to be honest. Seriously. Okay, I need another automatic hack tool. Yeah, we'll take one of those. Um... Yeah, now I don't know how much electro gel I can carry for the flamethrower thingy. There it is, the chemical thrower. Electric gel. How much of that am I allowed to carry? I can probably carry more, I think. I'll make it. Oh, right. Heat seeking RPG. Oh, that does use distilled water. Ah, so see, it's a good thing I gathered up all that distilled water, even though I needed only seven for the Lazarus Vector. Sure. Okay. Gene bank swap upgrades. Uh, I'm not sure I need to, but okay. I'll take a look at what I've got. I know I, I've, I think I've got what I... Yeah, that's fine. What I need to do is buy more slots if I find... I'm gonna need more atom though. I think I don't have any atom to spend on more slots. No idea how many little sisters are in this level. I hope at least one, then I can get some atom. Let's 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 do another save. Fort Frolic. I think we can overwrite the smuggler's hideout and the medical pavilion, maybe? Let's do this one. We're done with that. We're long done with that. Maybe if I go to the main menu. There. Little sisters in this level. There are three little sisters in this level. Oh boy. And some director's commentary. Okay. Yeah. Is this the theater? Oh, this is apothecary. Can I break the glass? Really? Oh shit. Uh okay. Can I shut it down? Where's the shutdown? Bot shut down. Straight ahead and on the right. Do I have the money for it? Should I auto hack it? Then I'll have some bots to help me out here. Well, 
Welcome to Fort Frolic. Those are just lights there, okay. Is there anything in here I can get? Yeah, there's that, but I would have to deal with another security lockdown. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, those are there if we need them. Excellent. That's a little will return sign. No, will return never. I'll use the two fox. Uh, what do I have? Electric buckshot equipped, huh? I don't have much buckshot here. Maybe I should go with my machine gun. Anti-personnel rounds. Not much of that either. What is that banging noise? Do I want to know? Oh, Bathosphere Station. That's the only thing I need. Go to Hephaestus. Oh, come on, but there's all this stuff to explore. It can't be that easy. Look at all this. No, nah, there's got to be more to it than this. Can't be that easy. Come on. There's got to be some catch. Yeah, see, I told you. It couldn't be that easy. Oh, what the fuck? What is this shit? Ah, that's better. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da 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 da. Time was. Oh. You could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. Yep. See, this is what I remember. I remember this level being super duper creepy and awesome and creepy. And I just heard the sweet music of my alarm telling me I've been playing for about 45 minutes. I didn't catch it right away because the game was also playing some sweet music. But yes, if you heard a little bit of something else in there, that was my alarm telling me that it's been about 45 minutes of gameplay and so I need to upload a video clip. to YouTube and it's just in time because things have gotten super super weird mm hmm yeah this is what I remember yep yep this is this is just what I remember uh-huh uh-huh yeah see I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy all right, but what I'm gonna say is thank you so much for being here with me. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate it. I do enjoy having you here with me, at least in spirit, because I know these are pre-recorded. I can't do a live stream to YouTube or to Twitch of this particular game. Now, normally I do live stream everything. I live stream my Try It Tuesdays. I live stream Fallout 4 on Fridays and sometimes other days of the week, uh, but for some reason, I cannot live stream the Bioshock, the collection games. So I have to upload them in clips. You can always comment on these and I will definitely read the comments. Uh, don't always get a chance to reply, but I try to reply to all the comments. 
And if you leave a comment, you'll be entered to win the Bioshocktober giveaway, which is going until Halloween. Oh, this is just so... <laughs> so creepy! Alright, hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye!